It looks like a, some apparent blood on the bottom. This may look like a scene from your favorite crime drama, but this is real life training for crime scene investigators right here in the Metro. And today they took us through what they do from start to finish in a story you'll only see on KSHB 41. Reporter Emma James got an in-depth look at the process with the Kansas City, Missouri Police Department. KCPD's Crime Scene Investigations Unit is made up of 16 people. They don't work as sworn police officers. When they show up to a crime scene, they have a lot of work to do, and they're passionate about doing it right. It all starts with documentation. Investigators take photos of a crime scene, documenting the scene, how it was when they arrived. After that, investigators process the evidence, whether it's collecting fingerprints and blood or finding out the trajectory of a bullet. It's like 3.7 upwards. It's a long and meticulous process. It's time consuming, and, and it's time consuming because uh, of the nature of the work, but it's time consuming too because we want to do it right and we only get one chance to do it right. So we'll use this throughout a scene and just move from room to room to room. Thanks to grant money, investigators started using 3D scanners in 2019 to help process the scene. Previously, they had to sketch scenes and take measurements by hand. The technology does the job much quicker and gives a more enhanced view of the scene to investigators, prosecutors, and even a jury if needed. Investigators like Lori Keller say every day on the job is new and different. It is a very interesting job. It's extremely rewarding. Keller says says everyone on the unit works tirelessly to get justice for the people of Kansas City, no matter the crime. We have people who have lost loved ones or, you know, it could be, you know, that their home got burglarized and these are all very important and traumatic situations that happen to people. After a scene is processed, evidence goes back to the lab where it's preserved. The detailed work done now is crucial for the future when that important evidence could be needed at any time. The other side of the couch. In Kansas City, Emma James, KSHB 41 News.